Hi, how's everybody doing today? We are finally on the porch. I know that I told you guys midweek and the energy of everything that's been going on has been so crazy that I just had to like try to wrap my head around what I wanted to talk about because obviously our usual, you know, um, our usual game plan of talking with what's going on with the energy and then on Wednesday we're manifesting on the porch and on Friday, you know, on the weekends. And uh, I tried to get back on Wednesday and Thursday and just the energy that is going on right now is so just infiltrating. It's, it's so hard to explain um, the people that are sensitive. If you're sensitive right now, you are feeling really bad. Okay. And that involves anger, grief, everything. You're feeling the world. You're feeling everybody's emotions. Um, it's kind of hard to to get uh, to get through that, I guess. And I'm not in any way above that. And usually, I could heighten my vibration and bring you guys, you know, that energy. But man, we are just getting. I mean, everything is going crazy. Um, I have to put on sunglasses. I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, my eyes are even sensitive. These aren't mine. Um, they kind of look a little silly, but. There you go. I might be able to channel a little bit better with them on. So I was looking back at the webcast from Monday and all of the random things that I was feeling and, and hearing and, and I was like, oh my God, some of this stuff just like doesn't even make any sense. And then I was kind of joking around, like don't get caught up in the tornadoes in Philly. And I realized that <laughs> that wasn't a joke. There were actually tornadoes. Um, and then I had mentioned a symbol and sometimes the other side can get like really creative and they give me images of something so that I say the word and I don't know like why I'm seeing that but I thought it was a spirit animal message. They kept saying white buffalo, white buffalo and now there's this all this media attention in Buffalo, New York uh, with this older white senior citizen um, who ended up being the uh, you know, the victim of some violence out there. He is, I hear, in stable condition. But um, sometimes when I get these messages, I don't know what they mean and I try to interpret them as to what they mean. And then I see something on the news and I'm like, oh, white buffalo. Okay, that's not a spirit animal or something connected to that. Sometimes I don't even know what it means. So there's a lot of people asking like, what is going on and and where are we and and it's like talk about manifesting you can't manifest when your vibration is this low like our vibration in the world is so low that it's very hard to not like be stuck in your lowest form of energy um some of you might be feeling very depressed today some of you might be feeling um very angry um, some of you might be feeling worried and fearful that you don't know really where to turn to and you know who's gonna protect you or who's gonna protect us or what you know what to listen to and where is our leadership and all that stuff and there's nothing that like I could say other than what I said on Monday in Monday's webcast I pretty much you know I pretty much summed up what I was feeling on a psychic level and on a universal level, on a mediumship level. And I did write a blog post about what I felt about the spiritual karma that we're facing right now. And I mentioned um, the uh, agent of change number three, because we have two so far. And I firmly believe that we're gonna have to go through the third to make it out of this and to to have a peaceful situation um, moving forward. And nothing's ever gonna be the same as it was before COVID hit. Nothing's ever gonna be the same. Um, you're not the same, I'm not the same. And if we look at it from a larger perspective that each one of us makes up the larger vibration, I think sometimes we have it backward thinking that the world is the vibration, the world is the energy, and we're tapping into this source energy. We're tapping into this vibrational source. 
and that it's somewhere, you know, above us in heaven or something and that there's this energy and we're either at a low or higher energy and then we have to tap into it to get higher. And that's not really what it is. Um, each one of us has the responsibility to vibrate at a low frequency or a high frequency. Once we, once we, no, hold on one second. I have to do something. <laughs> See when you're, you're home, anything, anything could really happen. So I have to be careful what I'm talking about. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys didn't mind the little, the little break I had to take. There's kids in, kids in the house. Um, you never know when she's gonna, she's just gonna just crash it. You just, you just don't know, but that's okay. I mean, we all have the same situation going on, a lot of us. So I know you guys don't mind. Can I just, can I finish this real quick? Okay, say, say hello, yes. Hello. That's Maine. Say hi to everybody. She just hi. went out for a bike ride. It's a little humid here. It's a little hot. It's like 80 yeah. some degrees, almost 90. Yeah, it's almost, it's 90, it's 100 degrees. Okay. It's really hot. Yes. Really hot. So people are saying hello to you. Yeah. Okay. But mommy's got to finish a little, she's got to finish a little forecast. Okay. A forecast? Mm -hmm. Yep, come here. Come here. Come I just want to be on video. I know. Come here. Come here. Come here. On your retreat. Come on. Out. Okay, bye, everybody. Hope you have a good day. All right. <laughs> I had to um, bribe her with some uh, ice cream. I hope that'll work for a couple more minutes. <laughs> she just loves the camera. I can't help it. Um, I can't, I can't uh, stop her from coming on and I can't really pretend that this isn't going on and act like, oh, you know, this isn't going on because it's going on. So we're live. Anything can happen. I'm glad she came on and gave you guys a little bit of a, I'm sure that brought a smile to your face. It probably did, you know, anyway. Thank you guys for telling me how cute she is. She is very cute. She likes to wear the uniform helmet, the unicorn helmet around everywhere. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I don't know who's gonna show up on the porch. We, we don't ever know who's gonna show up. Anyway, back to the vibration um, discussion. Um, the thing is the vibration starts with you. It starts with me. It's not something that we aspire to be in, in, in the world, in the realm of possibility. Like it's something in the sky. We are the vibration. Each one of us can choose to vibrate low or high. And when we're in anger, fear, frustration, when we're in any sort of hateful thinking, um, when, especially when we're in anger, um, we are vibrating at our lowest and we tend to attract the other things around us that vibrate at that, that at that level. So when you're manifesting, when we talk about that, um, we basically attract what we are. So if we want to see change happen in this country, in this world, it starts with us. And I, I just want to ask you, are you transforming? Are you doing the things that you need to do to educate yourself, to be a better person, to do your personal growth work and to, move toward your own alignment um, into your center and to higher vibration. Now, this is what I see moving ahead um, as we continue through this cycle, which I think is going to go through this next phase of what we're going through. I think this is going to go through the fall into September, like into the beginning of September, and then we'll have another shift at that time. But um, there was a middle ground for so long. I'd say over the last 20, 25 years, we had a lot of middle vibration people. A lot of the population, probably 80% middle vibration, not a lot at high, not a lot at low. Um, 
And a lot of people when they're at middle vibration are kind of asleep to the system of everything going on. We're kind of just like clockwork. We're going through the routine. We're going through the wheel. Um, we're just existing. And what's happening now is that a lot of that 80% are waking up through the first agent of change, which was the pandemic. Second agent of change is what's going on right now. And uh, what happened to George Floyd and, and everything that's kind of progressing from there. Um, this is where there's going to be choices for you um, because there's going to be really no more middle vibration where the consciousness is going and where we're headed. It's going to be very divided. And I know I'm speaking from a very, um, from a very vague standpoint or from a, like a, you know, a metaphysical standpoint, but I really don't know how to like classify what I'm talking about. Um, you're either going to go low or you're going to go high. And there's going to be that shift, I think, coming up in late July, early August, where there's going to be a choice for a lot of us. Um, and right now is where we're doing the major work. That's where our country is doing the major work. We're getting through all this. That's where the world is doing its major work. And it all started back probably February or March, moving through here to July. Around July 15th, we're going to see another shift. And then in September. But it's not about saying marissa what's going on in the world because what's going on in the world right now is a result of what has been going on in the world it's what's been it's the culmination um when we see a future it's the culmination of choices it's the culmination of what has happened in the past which becomes the future so if we want to see the future it's important that you figure out where you are and where you're vibrating and where you are today I mean, it's so hard to, to not feel the energy that's going on, but there are things that you can do to try to like move through it. Number one, you just can't surround yourself with anything draining. You just can't surround yourself with anything draining. It's hard for me to even get out here and take the energy to do the webcast, but I need to because I, that's what I'm here to do. Um, so I'm trying to muster up that energy inside of me. The other thing is, is movement. Sometimes when we get stuck in a low vibration, we don't move. The energy in our mind actually circulates. Our mind starts racing and we feel like we can't move. We can't sit. We just stare. There's nothing we could do. And the mind just goes crazy. That means your energy is up here and it needs to be centered. So that's another thing you could do is just take a walk. I'm not saying any high impact aerobics. Just take a walk. And the other thing you can do is to vibrationally use nutrition to not go low um and that's you know really heavy animal dairy products that kind of thing you're going low into your energy so you want to try to do the things you can control to make yourself go higher and to try to feel a little bit better um i know i've mentioned this in the past before but like any form of water and salt that you could put together and just jump in like an epsom salt bath or anything like that can really get rid of all that residue that's on your body and sage also frankincense and myrrh the resin the rocks you put it on a little piece of charcoal that's like a nuclear clearing in your house and of your energy field you can either even take a little bit of a of a spray that you use to cleanse the air that actually changes energy changes thought form so there are some things you can do but really just right now you have to stay away from those base level emotions you'll feel better um i tell people it, the news is going to be there tomorrow it's going to be there in two days if you're having high anxiety a lot of depression a lot of anger take a break for at least a day and a half because you're bringing that energy right in and you're, you're not just bringing in like what's really going on in the whole world you're bringing in what a channel wants to show you and what what it, what something wants to uh, present to you. It's not really your choice what you're watching. It's somebody else's choice. So you are responsible. If you're getting involved in that and you're sticking in that energy, then you're going to feel it and it's not going to be comfortable. So I wish I had a magic answer uh, for everybody on what's happening. The best thing, like I said, I could do was give you those uh, messages on Monday or Tuesday or whenever I did the last webcast. That's really what's coming up for me. And 
I'm already seeing some of those symbols actually happening. But right now, I'm in it with you. I feel it with you. I feel I, I feel the pain, you know? I, I'm feeling it. You're feeling it. We're all in it. And we all don't want to be in it. It's, it's uncomfortable. But we still have a ways to go. And I want to just tell you to keep going. And, and keep going. Try. Drink a lot of water. Just try to raise your vibration just a little bit. And to... You don't have to be part of the anger. You don't have to be part of the fear. Your thoughts start that process. Your thoughts begin the fear and the anger, and it becomes part of the universe. It becomes part of our world. Just because you think you're watching it on TV and you're not part of it, by you generating that thought, that thought process, you are being part of it. So you have to think about where your vibration is because if we think about a million people at a high vibration it's going to raise the vibration so it all starts with you so that's what i wanted to bring to you guys today because i know it's so hard to be sitting through this and i wish i could wave a magic wand and just say you don't have to sit through this it's all going to magically go away tomorrow and it's not i can only tell you how to keep yourself a little more comfortable and how to get yourself out of the energy and by getting yourself out of the energy, you're actually doing a service to the world. You're actually doing a service to the world by getting out of the energy, raising your vibration, and then putting that vibration outward to giving hope, inspiration to other people. Because that's what's needed right now. People just don't, people don't know how to get out of their anger and fear and depression and anxiety right now. You bring a smile to somebody's face or you raise your vibration and you help another human being you're contributing to that change that we have to see moving forward. So it's all in the vibration. It's all in the frequency. It's all in energy. And you can, you can, you can play a part. Don't, don't think you have to be held to just watch stuff and feel fear um, and anger. And it's not, that's what's being presented. And a lot of people are generating that mindset. And even though it seems like the world is material, it's really thought-based that's where it comes from. So as you can see, I'm low energy. I'm not as peppy as I usually am, but I wanted to, you know, come to you guys and just give a little bit today. I hope it helps somebody. And I hope that it gave you guys a little bit of, a little bit of pick me up, you know, just a little bit to move through, through the weekend. And, uh, I just gotta be real. Just gotta be real with you. So I hope you have, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. It's hot out here. Um, it's humid. Mediums don't like humidity. I don't, I don't like humidity, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about energy and vibration. I think it's really important that we're all doing our part and it's nothing that you have to do outside of yourself. It's something that you have to do inside. Got to generate your vibration from the inside. We're all part of it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and a start to your weekend. No, Deborah, you are not alone. None of you are alone. We're all in this together and we can all make a difference. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And those are my thoughts from the porch today. Have a great weekend.